Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm out here in beautiful Southern California, enjoying the nice weather, and I'm here to discuss with you the favorite card I have in my wallet, which is my American Express Platinum card. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with this card, this is going to be a platinum looking metal credit card that actually did pretty much change the game when it came to luxury travel credit cards when it first came out. Now, this card has been one that has truly elevated my travel experience. I've said that numerous times on my channel. What I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna go over whether or not this card actually may end up being worth it for you to add into your wallet. Now, the American Express Platinum card is known for luxury. This is a card that has a number of different benefits and perks that are connected with it, but it also has a really hefty annual fee. I'm gonna go over all the different benefits. You can actually see how you can justify having this card and paying that high annual fee. Now, before I dive into this card, I wanna pass a question on to you that I've been seeing all over the internet when it comes to the etiquette of flying in economy. Should you actually recline your seats if you are someone who's flying in economy, or should you only recline your seats if there's no one else behind you? This is something I've actually been seeing all over the internet. Some people say that it is bad etiquette to actually recline your seat in economy. Other people say that it is a function of the seat, so why wouldn't you use it if you actually have this function? And then some people say you only should actually recline your seat if no one is actually sitting behind you. I'm curious of what you all's thoughts are when it comes to reclining your seats in an economy seat on a plane. Drop it down in the comment section down below. So let's go over the earnings of the American Express Platinum Card. With this card, you're going to get 5X back on flights booked directly with airlines. You get 5X back on prepaid hotels booked through MX Travel. And then you get 1X back on all the purchases. So when you actually end up looking at this card, it's not the strongest earner card, but to be able to get yourself 5X back on flights booked directly with the airlines is pretty strong. Now the sign-up bonus connected with this card ranges from 80,000 to 100,000, 125,000, sometimes even 150,000 membership reward points after you spend $8,000 in the first six months of having this card. So while this is a lot of spend that is required, being $8,000, being able to get yourself six months to do the spend as compared to where most cards actually only give you three months to do the spend, makes it a lot more feasible for regular people to actually end up hitting the minimum spend with it being about $1,300 each month you'd have to spend to actually hit the sign up bonus for this card. Now this card does have a $695 annual fee. However, the benefits and perks that are connected with it, I feel justify being able to get this card because they can easily offset them. Let's go over the different benefits and perks that are connected with the American Express Platinum card. So the first credit that I wanna highlight is going to be the airline incidentals credit. Now the way that this credit works is you get yourself $200 in airline incidentals with one specific airline after you enroll through either American Express's website or their app with the American Express Platinum card. Now the incidentals are going to cover things such as like free check bags, or if you happen to wanna use their lounge connected with a specific airline, or for in-flight food and beverage purchases. The thing about this airline incidentals credit is that even though it's technically designed specifically for incidentals, there are ways to trigger getting yourself airfare, even though it's not supposed to. Now, one of the ways that I've seen that actually do work ends up being purchasing flights for under $100 with certain airlines such as like JetBlue or Southwest can actually end up triggering the airline incidentals credit. So this is a way to actually use this credit towards airfare, even though technically it's not supposed to. Another benefit you get with the American Express Platinum Card, and I feel like this is actually one of the more underrated perks, is that you end up getting yourself a $200 hotel credit. Now, the way this credit works is you get yourself $200 when you make a booking through American Express's fine hotels and resorts or the hotel collection. Now, the hotel collection tends to have properties that aren't as expensive as the fine hotels and resorts, but when you actually end up making bookings through the fine hotels and resorts, you actually get yourself more benefits and perks. So ones that you would end up getting is you get yourself a $100 experience credit. Usually this actually ends up being either with the spa or with um, food and beverage purchases with the hotel. And you also get yourself 4 p.m. late checkout. You get yourself daily breakfast for two and also room upgrades when available. One of the properties you could use it at would end up being something like the Shutter Beach Hotel out here in Santa Monica, California. It's literally like overlooking the ocean, so it's in an awesome location. So this is something you could end up using it on. Definitely this hotel is on the higher end when it comes to price point, but if this is a hotel you actually did want to stay at, getting yourself $200 off along with a $100 experience credit and daily breakfast or two may actually make it worth your while to stay here if this is a hotel you want to stay at because of the large discount you're going to be getting. Another credit you get with the American Express Platinum Card is the $240 digital entertainment credit. Now, the way this credit works is you get yourself $20 each month. It is use it or lose it, but you do get to use it towards one of the partnered entertainment companies that's connected with American Express. The one that I like to use it towards ends up being the Disney Plus bundle, where you get yourself ESPN Plus, Disney, and also Hulu. There are many other companies that you can use it towards, but this is one that I've found to get myself easy, positive value, because this is a service I'd be using even if I didn't have the American Express Platinum Card. 
you also get yourself a $200 Uber credit. And the way that this credit is broken down is you get yourself $15 each month, and then you get yourself an additional $20 in the month of December, equaling out to $35 that month. Now this credit is a use it or lose it credit, so you definitely wanna be on top of your game, make sure that you end up taking full advantage of these credits each month. The good thing about this Uber credit is that you can either use it for Uber rides or Uber Eats if you don't use rideshare services. If you don't wanna pay for delivery, you can always go to a location and pick it up. And just from those four credits alone, being the hotel credit, the airline incidentals credit, the digital entertainment credit, and also the Uber credit, you can get yourself $840 in value. And this isn't even taking into consideration the additional benefits you get from booking through the fine hotels and resorts, being the daily breakfast for two, and also the $100 experience credit. So yes, while this card may have a $695 annual fee, if you can take advantage of just those four credits, you can easily offset that annual fee and also give yourself positive value. Also with the American Express Platinum card, you get yourself a $300 Equinox credit. Now for those of you who aren't familiar with Equinox, it's a really fancy gym. I'm actually standing right outside of one right now. Um, they're in major cities. You'll see them out in San Fran, New York, down here in Southern California. It's not something that I want to be a part of. My local Y works are really fine for me, but if you happen to be someone who likes to go to Equinox, you can get yourself a $300 credit for that gym. I don't know what they offer that's so much better than regular other gyms. For me, like I said, either working out at the local Y, at home, or just out at the beach. Let's go do some pull-ups. All right, I did already work out earlier today, but how many think I can do? Pause the video right now, drop it either below 10 or above 10. I thought I'd do. If you're someone who normally likes to show up to the airport as late as possible, and you're always stressing out about missing out on your departure, well, the American Express Platinum Card is gonna do you wonders here because you get yourself a free TSA PreCheck and Clear Credit. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with these two programs, TSA PreCheck allows you to go into a special lane at the airport that ends up being a lot smaller than the general assembly lane. And when you combine that with Clear, what Clear allows you to do is jump to the front of the TSA PreCheck lane to get past airport security even faster. So long gone are gonna be those times of waiting at airport security for an hour plus. Now Clear usually costs $189 for an annual membership, and then TSA PreCheck usually costs $100 for a four year membership. Imagine getting to the airport and having to wait only five minutes or less every single time at airport security. Another credit that's connected with the American Express Platinum Card that I don't value very high, however I do take full advantage of, is the Saks Fifth Avenue credit. So how this credit works is you get yourself $100 throughout the year at either Saks Fifth Avenue's store or on Saks Fifth Avenue's website. Now this is broken up into two spots. You get yourself $50 in the first half of the year between the months of January through June, and then another $50 in the second half of the year between the months of July through December. Now, if you go on Saks Fifth Avenue's website, you're probably gonna see a lot of cool things that you really want, but you're also gonna end up seeing the sticker price that's connected with them, which is insanely high. For me, I do not want to be paying this high amount of money when it comes to shirts or for suits. So what I've just been getting on Saks Fifth has just been underwear. Right here, I have a two pack of Hugo underwear that cost $48, so my credit completely covered it, which means that each single pair of underwear is almost 25 bucks, which I think is pretty damn insane. But I have some pretty nice underwear that I'm gonna try on. You also get an annual Walmart Plus credit. Now Walmart Plus is very similar to like Amazon Prime, only just connected with Walmart. And on top of that, you also get yourself Hilton Gold status, Marriott Gold status, trip cancellation insurance, and also car rental insurance. But the most important benefit that a lot of people see with the American Express Platinum card is going to be getting yourself lounge access. With the American Express Platinum, you get yourself access to the Centurion Lounge, the Delta Sky Club when you're flying with Delta, and then also you get yourself Priority Pass. 
Now, you do have to register to get yourself a Priority Pass membership card. They will send one into you in the mail. It's gonna look like this. So make sure you register with Priority Pass and don't just show up with your American Express Platinum card hoping to get into it. But once you actually end up getting this card, you will be able to get yourself access to Party Pass, which has over 1,300 lounges across the world. Now, in my opinion, Party Pass lounges can be a hit and miss, but when you end up going to the Centurion Lounge, those are consistently pretty nice lounges. For those of you who've never been to a lounge, this is an excellent place to be just before your departure. So whether you're there because you showed up to the airport really early or you happen to have a connection flight, you need to wait at this airport for a number of hours, at a Centurion Lounge, you'll get yourself free food, free drinks, free Wi-Fi, and a comfortable place to sit all while you're waiting before you take off to go to your destination. Now, I know that the American Express Platinum card is not for everybody. $695 is a hefty annual fee. If you are someone who's not gonna be paying attention to make sure that you get the full value from different benefits and perks, it's just not gonna make a lot of sense to have this card because it's gonna end up cutting into your gains and giving you negative value. But if you can take advantage of the different credits and perks, and you also are someone who travels quite frequently and would love to get yourself lounge access, the American Express Platinum card can make a lot of sense to add into your wallet. Just the welcome offer alone can make sense to test this card out for the first year. Because say you happen to get a sign-up bonus of 100,000 membership war points, that's enough points to get you a round trip in business class over to Europe. If you were to see how much a round trip in business class cost, that's gonna be somewhere along the lines of like four to $8,000. Now you wouldn't get this value using American Express's travel portal. The way you get this value would be to transfer over the membership reward points over to one of American Express's transfer partners. If you transfer them over to something like Iberia, Iberia has a sweet spot where you can get yourself a business class flight one way over to Europe for 34,500 points from the East Coast of the US during off-peak times. Now I'm not gonna say that you're gonna be able to find this every single day with the Iberia program. You do have to do some research with the program and also be flexible with your days. But if you put in that work, you will end up getting this incredible reward. So for me, the American Express Platinum Card is definitely worth it in 2024. If you don't happen to have the American Express Platinum Card and you are interested in it, check out my referral link in the description box. If you decide to use it, it will really help out the channel and I'll be incredibly thankful for your support. But let me know in the comments section down below, what do you think about the American Express Platinum Card? Do you not have it because you feel that the annual fee is too high? Or have you gotten this card and you're happy you have because it's elevated your travel experience? But hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you happen to have any questions, also drop those in the comment section down below. I'll do the best I can to answer it. And if you happen to really like this video, then please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, share this video, and have a beautiful rest of your day. Peace.